All right, guys, a little further over, right in the center of that opening. I wanted okay, to cover the cutaway right. house. Okay. That's Beautiful. perfect. That's wait, perfect. Wait, All you right. guys cannot get rid of the cutaway house. We're not getting rid of the cutaway house, Elizabeth. We're enhancing it. Yeah, and when the moment they walk through that front door, they're going to feel like they've stepped foot on a Granite Ridge construction job site. That's, that's right. That's exciting. Hey, guys, if you're putting a front door in, don't we need a roof and a post? I mean, that's the most important yeah. trend is a large front porch. And we've got you covered, literally. Oh, yep. Covered. So we're going to be building oh. a roof over the top of your heads and then we're going to be putting two posts here to make it feel like you stepped up onto that front porch but Perfect. we need some advice tyler thinks we should do kind of the wood post there oh i think raw iron is in yeah yeah why don't we do both that way you can oh, see yeah. all good options yes. good, idea. good idea all right hey guys you all remodeling the cutaway house again what uh -oh. about the cleanup you all gonna make a mess here who's gonna take care of this cleanup tyler uh -huh. Guys, please tell me that in the cutaway house, you're gonna keep the energy efficient pieces. All my social media videos are talking about our spray foam insulation, our good windows, things like that. You have to keep the energy efficiency parts. We're gonna keep it, but we're gonna to add to it. It's even gonna be better. All right. And Luke, I gotta tell you, all my clients love the convenience of looking at all the framing members of a house without going to job sites. So the finger jointed studs, the, the 12 inch eye joist, it's a big part of what we do. Yeah, and not only will they be able to look at it now, but now they'll be able to feel it because it'll be surrounding them. It'll be overhead and underfoot. So nice. Hey, if you can get this done in 24 hours, get it completed, make sure you do the clean up too. In 24 <laughs> hours, it'll feel like we weren't even here. Let's All get, right let's then. Get the rest of this in uh, right. We gotta get let's started. Get, let's get, the, let's get cleaning this around here. Great, guys. Yeah. Welcome to Between the Studs. We are Granite Ridge Builders, custom builders serving Northern Indiana, Northwest Ohio, and also parts of Southern Michigan. We have been building custom homes for almost two decades, and we're really passionate about what we do. So join us today as we explore the processes, the trends, and also tips that characterize today's new home. Thanks for watching. This is beautiful glass. Hey guys, instead of doing the remodeling right away, we got to start the Between the Stud shoot, okay? Yeah, Tony, what are we gonna talk about today? You know what, we have had so many requests about our trend show. They wanna know more. Well, here's what I think. Number one trend this year has got to be buying a new home rather than an existing. And I think you have some reasons why. Yeah, Tony, you're right. Our inventory in our local area is a two month supply, which is extremely low. It's hard to find anything and you don't wanna settle on a house. So you're right, new construction is a trend. Yeah. Yeah, and we have lots spread all over northern Indiana, southern Michigan, and northwest Ohio. So no matter where you want to build, we have a spot for you. Yeah. With advancements in technology, I can show you how you can save upwards of $200 a month on your utilities alone. You know, it's, it's yeah, Izzy, crazy. not to mention just technology, but people's needs have changed. So we got 180 floor plans to choose from, and we can customize it to fit any of your needs with big kitchens, open concepts, large islands, whatever they want. True. Yeah, the biggest trend I see is everybody wants the design items and the latest trends they want right now without That's having true. to remodel. You can pick from the thousands of selections and get the home you're looking for with today's style. Uh, that's spoken with a true decorator Absolutely. coming out of you. Of course. You love it's that important. part. I think another trend we're seeing is bigger vehicles. You're seeing a lot more SUVs on the road. So with a lot of pre-existing homes, you can't have the flexibility to park inside your garage every night. So how awesome would it be to build a custom home, have the flexibility to park a bigger vehicle inside your garage? And sometimes you can do that for just a couple thousand dollars. You can get that extension onto the garage to give you plenty of room or a third car garage for between six and seven thousand dollars maybe. And one of the things that's out there is you do have a lot of people who are out looking at existing homes. And like Elizabeth said, we have a two month supply. Well, that's really not what they may be looking for. So they are looking five, six, seven months for this home. And in that time frame, they can build their own custom home and have it exactly at the price they're looking for. Okay, I think we've got some amazing amazing reasons why you want to build. We have so many trends. We're going to rapid fire these, so stay tuned. You're not going to miss one minute of this show. All right, guys, let's go find our trends that we like best. All right, sounds good. After you. Well, you guys, we're the top builders in this area, so we really need to know what's in and out when it comes to floor plans, because custom houses is our thing. So we really need to make sure we educate everyone on the latest trends right now. And you have to start with open floor plans. Those have been around for a while, and they're still in this year. Open floor plans are huge. Well, I'll tell you what's out is 
a formal dining room. And you know why that's Outlook? Because people, what's in is going to be built-in seating into the kitchen. So whether it's benches in the nook or tables attached to these big 10, 12 foot double deep islands, that's what's in. People are spending so much time in the kitchen nowadays. Absolutely, but I like to spend time in the laundry room and they are gigantic, especially coming off of the garage. You're going to put anything and everything in these laundry rooms with lots more cabinets. You have more storage and closets in there, the lockers and benches. They're very important rooms. Yeah, and along with that, pantries are just blown up in size. These pantries are so big now, you can literally get lost in them. And we're going to talk about storage and how that affects the pantries later in the show. You know what's out and that's dining rooms, but people are doing that den office. Everybody's working from home this year and they need a space to do that. Absolutely, but let's kind of go into some fun areas like the master spa and bath. What's in is going to be showers and garden tubs in the same glass enclosure. That is a really popular trend right now, but out are small vanities. The vanities and mirror sizes with lighting and windows even in the bathrooms are getting larger and larger. So Kayla, you talk about windows in the master spa. Windows just in general, and we're not talking about normal five foot windows. We're talking floor to ceiling. We're even talking about walls that are basically glass that you can slide and, and incorporate outdoor living right inside the home. Well now you talked about outdoor living, built in, you know, full kitchens on the outside, built in fireplaces, that outside outdoor living is huge. You know, I want to talk about the pets being inside the house, outside the house. Pets are a huge trend that we need to take special care and there's rooms dedicated for their pets and different uh, storage enclosures, the way that people are trimscaping their houses. A lot of them have to do just around how their pets live in their house. And I got a big one that's out, basements. Basements are out right now and along with that, theater rooms. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the, the theater rooms start to die out. People still want a place for their kids to play. So in lieu of basements, we're doing dedicated children's retreats. Those are in this year. Well, what used to be in basements were wine grottos, and those are definitely going out because basements are out. So what people are doing are dedicated areas in the kitchen. The wine bars, the coffee bars are huge. So they're making that space more of the entertainment area alongside their kitchen. Now guys, ceiling heights. Eight foot ceiling heights are out. Nine foot is the way to go. Even besides nine foot, Cathedral was out, but it's making a comeback because of beams. So a lot of people are doing a lot of beams, whether it's a flat ceiling or a cathedral, you're gonna see a lot more woodwork when it comes to ceilingscaping. And guys, one of the rooms that I'm really seeing those taller ceilings in is the sunroom. Lots of natural light, bringing in the outside in again. But Kayla, you mentioned it, we're a custom home builder. So even though something may be out, but it fits your needs, come in, talk to us, we'll design a floor plan that is perfect for you. I think we really should start designing the models we're coming up, so, you know, I think this floor plan would be a good one today. JR, one of the greatest things talking about trends is not just the trends on how to build the home, but also some of the things that we put into the home, like kitchen appliances. It used to be everyone had one of these. The big, bulky, heavy, uncomfortable, big microwaves. Now you're not seeing those at all. And the reason you're not seeing them is people are still using them, Tony. They're just not putting them above the range like we're used to seeing. Smaller units that are hiding and tucking away in pantry so it's not quite so visible. And when they take away those microwaves over the ranges, doing more of these. Yeah, no matter what style of home, whether it's modern or traditional, they make range hoods now that are really decorative and fit any kind of style. The range then, right below that, they're doing more things with those double ovens here. They are doing more custom cabinets where they're putting in the double oven into the cabinet with the microwave above it just to make everything a little more user friendly inside that kitchen. And every kitchen, Tony, is going to have that range, but the trend that's out is the four burner top. Right. Now we're seeing bigger ranges with five and six burners to really accommodate that in-home chef. We're seeing more people working with their fridge getting more depart or more compartments inside that fridge that are especially for sodas or vegetables or fruits. It used to be they had a little sign on it that said that's what it's for, but really now they're controlling the humidity. They're taking pictures inside that. So if you're at the grocery store, lots of things are happening with that refrigerator. And most of the fridges that we've seen over the last few years, Tony, have been that built-in combo fridge and freezer. Now we're seeing people separate those units, doing a standalone fridge with an oversized deep freeze that's to right. accommodate all that, that food for home cooking. And when they're doing that, they're making in-cabinet ice makers so that you're never running out. More people are entertaining. When you have the open concept home, you have more people coming in and they're putting those ice makers built into the cabinets. And Tony, for all these appliances, there was a long run where everybody wanted that stainless steel look. Right. We're starting to see that phase out too. Now we're getting to stainless, maybe a black matte finish right. or a stainless that is smudge proof so that people don't have those fingerprints all over these beautiful appliances. 
and what's old is new again. They're also doing the retro lines where we're seeing the baby blue appliances, we're seeing the red appliances, we're even seeing some of those avocado green appliances coming back into the look. And a lot of folks, since they are cooking at home now, there, there's a lot of gadgetry now that we're using in kitchens, it whether it be Instapots or rice cookers, blenders, but the big trend for 2019 is keeping those hidden yes. off of these beautiful countertops, oversized pantries to keep all of these things out of the way, but still functional. Plus, they're taking everything in the kitchen and they're moving it outdoors with outdoor living spaces getting larger, more covered verandas. They're moving everything out there with fridges, ice makers. We're seeing some of the range cooktops out there with the big grills like what they do at Takioka when they're cutting it all up. Having that out there, they're taking and making everything in the kitchen also going outside. And Tony, the last appliance we got to cover, not in the kitchen, but in the laundry room, washer dryers. What are we seeing there? We're seeing people put in multiple washers and dryers into their homes, a lot more stackable units going into the master closets. They don't want to have to transfer those clothes, so they're just doing a master closet, stackable washer and dryer, and then another washer and dryer in a laundry room. Hey, you know what? Why don't we just go to Lowe's and take a look at some of the newest stuff that they have now? Uh, you do need some help on picking those colors out. Well, Izzy, with everything going more minimalist, no fuss, a lot of that clean style, it's really important to take a look at what kind of countertop is the biggest trend because countertops are clean and all you're going to see is that main part of the kitchen. So let's talk about the 2019 countertop trends. The one that's catch, caught my eye so far has been the fact that your islands now, instead of having the multi-level, that is out. Now we're looking at a single level or making it uh, extra long or even like you said, kind of an L shape that you can do different things like that with them. You know, I love the designs that have the kitchen table connected to the island. Again, that multi-level is very important for that type of style. You know, I have a lot of people saying that granite quartz countertops are still very in, especially in the matte finish where you don't have that big sheen, the leather, the hone, more textured countertops are a great in feature. And an in feature as well would be a little bit more of the simpler colors. You might still have a pop of color, but having them super multicolored is not a trend any longer. No, out is the dark colors and in is white. Lots of light countertop colors for those colored cabinets that are gonna really enhance the overall kitchen look for that simple, uh, fun style. And I still love the fact that we have multi different uh, types of countertops, whether it be concrete or stainless steel, there's lots of different types that are still trending. And don't forget to pay attention to the profiles of your edges. There's gonna be a lot more simple profiles with that thick countertops. And you know what I love? A real big design feature that we're gonna see in some models here coming up is that waterfall edge where the sides of the island are all countertops. Countertops are everywhere and it's a great feature for your home. So do you prefer the gloss or the matte more? Oh, I'm going more than matte. I love that look. Tyler, this fireplace looks great. You did a good job. Thanks, Elizabeth. And speaking of fireplaces, I think fireplaces with regards to trends are going to be one of the hottest trends. They sure are. Last year, we were eliminating a lot of fireplaces. Fireplaces were kind of out. People just wanted the big open space. They are in and you're going to see them everywhere. That's right. And speaking of some of the things that are in and out with fireplaces, you know, a lot of the old fireplaces you see with the embers, you know, with the logs, we're switching to something that's more in now. We're using a lot of natural materials like glass and different types of texture rocks and granite to use to help that glow with the logs inside the fireplace. And the fireplace box itself is changing. We're going to see a lot of big fireplaces like you see behind us. The linear fireplace is in. The direct vent fireplace is very in. It's easy. Just with a remote you can turn it on. The vent free fireplace is out though. This is the fireplace that vented into the room. You're going to see a lot of these. You're going to see them in your great rooms, your bedrooms, your bathrooms. Really exciting. The surrounds are also changing. That's true. You know, speaking of the front facade, a lot of people think of putting a mantle on their fireplace. I think something that's out is, you know, the mantle on the fireplace, something that you're going to see is just a smooth faced fireplace with just the hearth or even a flush hearth as opposed to having a box in front of the fireplace unit. It makes a huge statement. We have some more fireplaces upstairs to work on. I know. Let's turn this off and go. Sounds good. What's in, what's out, and what are the latest trends? One big thing that is out completely, clutter and hoarding. 
So today we're going to talk about storage and built-ins and things that we can do to really organize your spaces. Izzy, what is your favorite new trend when it comes to organization? My favorite is going to be the entertainment center. I love, uh, and I'm guilty, I had the big one that had everything out on display. You had your <laughs> DVD player, your Xbox, and everything out on display. Now we're going to take all of those things and we're going to find maybe a closet space for it, make it completely all your entertainment pieces uh, organized right there so that when you're staring at the wall for your TV, it's very very nice, very clean, right. and if anything, you might surround it with some art pieces or some decor around there, but you're going to keep it very nice and tidy. And in that living room or great room or some of the bedrooms, we're seeing more built-ins going in yes. underneath the windows with, with the seats that raise up, so you have mm -hmm. the storage for the extra blankets and pillows so that it's not out and around when people come over. And again, it used to be wide open spaces, uh, but now they're a little bit more enclosed. And we'll see the same thing when we go to what we would call our locker room area. A lot of times it was wide open spaces with maybe five or six different cubbies. Now we're gonna make sure that those things are kind of uh, covered over with either, either doors or being wide open so that they, are, uh, they must be kept very simple. What we see most people doing right now is the closets. They're organizing their mm -hmm. closets. They're putting in more drawers. They're putting in more things to hide. Jewelry containers so they can mm -hmm. just put a jewelry drawer in. They're doing packing stations so that they have more space in that master closet. And we had the model home mm -hmm. that everyone was flocking to just to see that master closet. So tidying up is definitely going to be the thing that you're going to want to be looking more into for your home this year. And if you're building, we can do so many things from the get-go so that you won't have to do additional pieces later on. Hey, did you see that issue of hoarders that they had where they had the newspaper <laughs> stacks that went up? And Netflix show is what I'm watching oh, right okay. now. Okay. Now Elizabeth, because we are a custom home builder, we do pride ourselves in the fact that we design houses for people with all sorts of different levels of abilities, different ages, and we do a lot of things that kind of incorporate and, and take those things into consideration our houses. And we've seen the name of that change throughout the years. Like it used to be everybody called it like ADA, right? Or it would be barrier free, handicap accessible. And we're calling it invisible design for all. Yeah, which means when you walk into our houses, we have all these things in there and you don't even realize that it's easier for people to use the house. It should be simple, it should be flexible. Things like wider hallways, wider doors, what's in our levers, what's out our knobs. Yeah, and uh, we talk about raising the uh, outlets and lowering the switches. Those are simple and the switches are no longer the, the traditional switches, it's more of a rocker panel. And varying your counter top heights so you have different levels, your appliances having drawers so they're easier to use. Yeah, and we vary those but we also vary our flooring, our lighting, our paint colors, things that have contrast so that it's very easy to identify when you're transitioning from one area to another. You're right Luke, flooring, when it comes to flooring, carpet is out in a lot of cases because of the design for all. Yeah, I'd say at least 40 to 50 percent of the houses that we built in 2018 had very little carpet in the house at all just because it, it just makes it easier for anybody to walk through. And don't forget minimal threshold when it comes to your doors or your showers, something that's easy to use. Yeah, and that goes back to that barrier free. So making sure that there are no barriers when you're walking into the house or a shower anywhere where it's transitioned. Best of all, these don't have to cost a lot of money. All right, JR, we're here to talk today about some of the biggest trends when it comes to bathrooms. Yeah, and Tyler, I think the first trend is the size. We're getting away from these small, tiny baths. We're doing oversized, spa-like master baths. So what are we putting inside of them? Well, we're putting a lot of different things inside of them. So one thing that I think is out is the small size of the showers. We're seeing a lot wider showers, whether it be shower inserts or tile showers. People are wanting more space to get ready in the morning, and I think that's really big when it comes to, you know, thinking of the room that you're spending the most time during the day, which is the bathroom. And inside of that shower, we're not talking about just one shower head. We're talking about jets. We're talking about multi-shower heads, water flow from everywhere, right? Well, something else that it's in is the colors. So we're talking about those jets and the different shower heads we're putting into tile showers. We're talking about copper tones, bronzes, Venetian bronzes, even golds. We still are using a lot of, you know, um, satin nickel finishes, but I think you're going to start seeing a lot of those gold and copper tones. And we're also talking about trends. What's in large vanities, almost as big as the island. We're talking eight, nine, ten foot. We're talking raised countertops and we're talking hard surface too. So what's in is granites and quartz is in the baths. Getting away, what's out is laminate. 
That's true. And then with those large vanities and countertops comes more sinks. So getting you know ready with your spouse or significant other, they're having their own area to get ready in the morning. And then speaking of getting ready, we talk about lighting. So not only are we doing a lot of different task lighting, but we talk about windows too. So we're adding those transoms just to let in a lot more natural light to give it that spa-like experience. And what's out? Incandescent bulbs. We're doing all LEDs in the baths and making sure you get the right Kelvin, the right light temperature is big. So we talked about design for all and minimal threshold. We're even doing minimal thresholds in your tile shower. So we're taking into account the fact that, you know, later on in life, when you're going into your tile shower, you have the space and the ability to do so. And you talked a little bit about flooring. What's in tiles and heated floors? Some of this wood-like resilient plank. We're not doing sheet vinyl anymore in the baths. That's right, JR. And talking about flooring, you know, we got to talk about cabinets. With all of our cabinets, not only are we doing taller cabinets in bathrooms to accommodate people getting taller, but we're adding more storage. So different drawers for your linens. I mean, wider spaces to accommodate all your bathroom accessories. Yeah, we can we can customize to your style. So a lot of folks, modern, we're doing open storage. We're even doing built-ins that look like medicine cabinets. And when you're ready to come talk to anybody about redoing your bath and about how to incorporate these new trends, you gotta come see us at Grand Ridge Builders. being the hot new trend, everybody wants to know what kind of architectural style am I going to do on the outside of my house? Because that's really important when they're thinking about building their new house. Well, we think this year there are four big styles that are in. The first one is the modern farmhouse. And what makes this so popular and so trendy are the components of this home. All white exterior, a lot of board and batten, big deep front porches, a black roof, a little bit of use of stonework or maybe painted brick black windows, black trim. And a lot of those features tie into the modern style that's coming on too, because modern's super simple. So going off of that plain white exterior with black accents, you have a lot of that coloring in the modern style with just a little bit different look. So you have your low pitched roofs, you have your uh, minimal stone accent areas, and a lot of different architectural styles and windows are huge with that too. The next style is the craftsman style. We've seen it before, a lot of brackets. Again, the big front porches. This home has a little more fuss. These other styles are maybe more of a no fuss style, but a lot of details, windows in your garage, stained features, the use of bold colors. You'll see blues and reds in the craftsman style, uh, a mixture of different windows and different roof pitches as well. You know, the other one, the last one that we need to talk about is the prairie style. You're going to be seeing a lot of hipped roofs coming on with big front porches and big columns with lots of stone to really accent this prairie that's coming back in again. Landscaping is going to be that thing you don't want to overlook and spend a lot of special time really designing the outside of the house because what's popular are ranches and two stories. You have all sorts of different styles, two car garages, three car garages, and there's a lot of different ways to play in landscaping with the design of your home. And don't forget, if you have a different style than what we've mentioned, we'd love to be able to take a look at it and design it just for you. Now, Tyler, we're standing here in front of our display for our garage doors. Garages and garage doors are a huge trend. That's right, and long overdue are the days of just your plain white garage door. Nowadays, as you can see from these samples behind us, people are doing a, a variety of different colors, and we can even adapt to different colors that they want based on different paint samples. So the possibilities are endless, and what goes with those garage doors in terms of colors are also the possibility of doing different types of windows. Mm -hmm. You can do clear glass, opaque glass. It just depends on what style of home you're trying to achieve, but the possibilities are endless. Yeah, you can put straps on them, handles on them, all sorts of different decorative features that really make that an, an attractive part of the curb, from the curb, yeah, so it looks great. That's true, and another thing that's in this year, Luke, is garage hybrid polymer floors, which is like an epoxy coating that mm -hmm. we're putting on floors nowadays. Mm -hmm. So long are out the just plain garage floors, people are really treating their garage like a second you know, extension of their home. They're really creating a different type of room, whether they're doing different types of activities or hobbies. We're putting different types of cabinets, workbenches in garages. So when in terms of doing those hobbies, we're also adding different types of electrical. We're doing more dedicated circuits. We're adding heaters to garages. And you mentioned it, you know, we're putting in cabinets. So 
out is disorganization and we're having companies meet with our homeowners that will walk through the garage and really understand what their needs are it kind of like a master closet almost and they put exactly what they need a place for the the athletic equipment bikes the whatever it may be the tools they have a spot for it and it gets everything up off the floor and makes it a very very clean area and, and people are spending more and more time out in those garages which is also mean we're making them larger that's true. And those smaller two-car garages are out. We talked earlier in the show about how SUVs and mid-sized cars, I mean, cars are getting bigger to accommodate larger families. So we're doing larger two-car garages. We're doing three-car garages. We're even doing double four-car garages that are deeper in depth to accommodate more vehicles. And even the ceiling heights in some of our garages are getting higher. We're doing 14 and 15 foot size ceilings to accommodate, li to accommodate lifts mm -hmm. in your garages. So we can do car lifts and with those lifts, we we can do drains to allow people to wash their vehicles from inside the garage. So, I mean, in terms of creating that space to accommodate storage, you really can put a lot into the garage that most people wouldn't think about. Yeah, and we're designing a lot of homes right this minute that the garage square footage is larger than the house square footage. So garages are becoming huge. And, you know, I'll drive by houses that we've closed and people have a TV in there. It essentially becomes the man cave. We talked about basements being out. It becomes that man cave, that extra area where they can go and watch the football game, whatever. They put a screen over the garage so they can open that up. So. Garages have really become a multifaceted room nowadays. That's right, Luke. And then also talking about those man caves with different neighborhoods that we're building, even though we're accommodating larger space for homeowners to put those cars and that storage, some people even want outbuildings. Mm -hmm. So we're doing outbuildings nowadays that even accommodate more stuff. So as you're getting more stuff for your home, whether it's a two car, three car, four, gar four car garage, or maybe you need an outbuilding, come into Granite Ridge to talk to a designer or talk to one of our sales staff on how we can make our garages fit your needs. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the drywall in a house? Here at Granite Ridge Builders, we just designed a brand new cutaway home where we can show you all the things that go on between the studs, behind the drywall, everything there. Because tips, trends, everything is changing all the time, we are consistently changing the Granite Ridge Builders 15,000 square foot showroom. So even if you've been here, maybe it was a year or two ago, everything's changed. You need to come back in, take a look at our new cutaway house, and if you've ever wondered what goes on with building, please come on through our front door, check out our website, but we'd love to give you a tour of our brand new cutaway home and 15,000 square foot showroom. Now Tyler, I'm excited about this remodel. First, let's get the door set, then we can tear out this front porch area here and, and Feel like we're on a front porch, and then we'll do the roof and the columns next. What do you think? That sounds good, Luke. But if well, we've got twenty, I think 24 it sounds good too. This is going to be so awesome. The roof on the cutaway house is going to look fantastic. Well, it's going to go along with all the trends. Thanks, Daryl. But this right here is not going to happen anymore. Ooh, Start ooh, to ooh, clean ooh, up. Ooay. Okay, I'm get busy. Hard Let's get today. this place cleaned up. Why don't you? <laughs> Come okay, on. guys, we're done with all the trends. I hope everybody liked it as much as we did. JR, would you go ahead and close for us? Absolutely. As always, guys, we want to thank you for spending part of your day with us. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about who we are, what we do, and why we do what we do so well, please just pick up the phone, give us a call, visit the website below, even better yet, come in our front door. And one of Granite Ridge's new trends is providing you exclusive content on social media. So make sure to follow us, like us, and subscribe to our YouTube page, our Facebook feed, and also on Instagram. And don't forget to check out our website. Great job. Daryl, you need to keep them in line. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think you're in the Make sure we this got is it. clean. Man. Let's clean this Daryl is in charge. Up. More Come cleaner. on. Yes, okay. more cleaner. What about the cleanup? You all going to make a mess here. Who's going to take care of this cleanup? Tyler. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I was excited to put to Tyler. All right. <laughs> it is really pretty. Hey guys, instead of starting the remodel, let's do this. We got to start our between the studs here. We've had so many requests. You about must stop, Tyler. <laughs> Jeez, Nick. <laughs> my God. Amber, you just want to know. It was stuck. And this is why you have to clean afterwards.